In this video, we'll explore the relationship between temperature, mass, and the speed of gaseous molecules. In a previous video, we showed that there is a direct relationship between temperature and the speed of gaseous molecules. As the temperature increases, so does the speed of the molecules. If we know this relationship between velocity and temperature to be true, what can we say about the relationship between temperature and kinetic energy? Recall that kinetic energy is equal to one-half times the mass times the velocity squared. We see from the equation for kinetic energy that velocity and kinetic energy are directly proportional, and so the speed of the molecules increases as temperature increases. When we're considering gases, though, it's very difficult to measure the kinetic energy of each individual molecule, so we don't. Instead, we calculate the average kinetic energy of all of the molecules in the relationship to temperature, which is a measure of the full sample. By introducing a constant of proportionality equal to 3 halves times r, we get that the relationship between the temperature of a large sample of gas and the average kinetic energy of the molecules is equal to 3 halves times rt. Let's now recall that the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times mass times velocity squared. We can set this definition of kinetic energy, in which mass is the mass of one mole of gas in kilograms, equal to the one we just derived. This will allow us to solve for the average velocity of the gaseous molecules. We'll multiply by 2 and divide by the mass on both sides. Then we'll take the square root of both sides, leaving us with VRMS is equal to the square root of 3RT over mass. This quantity is called the root mean square speed of the gas molecules. Suppose we wanted to calculate the root mean square speed of carbon dioxide at 50 degrees Celsius. Let's start at the beginning. Which of the following values do we use for the mass of one mole of carbon dioxide? Because the original kinetic energy equation uses mass in kilograms, so must we when calculating the root mean square speed. Therefore, the correct value is 0.04401 kilograms per mole. We have a few different values of R we can use. Which value of R should we use here? Kinetic energy uses joules as units. If we look back to when we set both definitions of kinetic energy equal to each other, we see that for both sides of the equation to use the same units, R must be expressed in terms of joules. The last thing we must consider is to convert the temperature given in Celsius to that in Kelvin. We're now ready to calculate the root mean square speed of carbon dioxide at 50 degrees Celsius. What is it? That's right, we've just calculated that the root mean square speed of one mole of carbon dioxide is equal to 428 meters per second. 